comes to Heppel, dribbles it forward. Hines got to sit and wait. One on one with Marty Hall. Sweeping through at the back with Sibold. Gives it over the top. Laverde. Now Minot. Promising build up from the Bombers. Merritt will get on the end of it. Big moment in the game and the Bombers win it. We've been really good around the contest, so I think we're number one for clearances and contested ball. And the, the times that we played Collingwood previously, um, we'd won those areas, but it was the outside of the contest that we, we probably struggled with a little bit. So that was the main focus for ours, and pleasingly the, the guys were able to do all the, all the requirements out on the ground, cover off, uh, work hard in transition, just to make sure that Collingwood didn't get that outside ball. Draper from the side, Stewart at the back. They've clearly got supremacy in the air, Essendon. They've got across the board, down back and up forward. I thought we were really consistent uh, across our lines and also for most of the game in terms of we didn't really have patches where I thought we went away from our plan or sort of dipped a little bit in terms of uh, our effort and intensity. So I was really happy with the consistency and also I thought uh, everyone contributed and played their role really well across the side. We had um, a lot of good, strong ball players, um, contested players, so we need to make sure that we continued that trend. We need to make sure that um, you know, we worked on the things that we were good at and then also things we could improve on, um, areas of um, outside ball, um, transition, ball use. We need to continue to improve on those areas as well. Yeah, look, it's been a bit of a six-day break, so it's, it's been a bit lighter and just freshening up the legs and being able to get uh, some, not as much, but some quality work into them. So they're, uh, they're really excited about the challenge ahead and, um, you know, we just came off the track tonight and, and had a really good session, even though it was a little bit shorter, but um, put some things in place that we think we might come up against Richmond and uh, the guys responded and looked pretty sharp, so pretty happy with that. Oh, it's another great opportunity for our guys. Um, We've spoken about it the last um, four to six weeks. Our form did drop off a little bit, but there were some really good signs in the last two games of the year that the things that we've been doing really well and the things that we've been looking to improve, there were some steady signs of improvement there. That was probably the most pleasing thing. Yeah, Richmond, really quality side, so they finished on top of the ladder. We know uh, we're going to be up against it this week. Uh, we're certainly not underestimating them. We, we rate them really, really highly and had a couple of guys out who, <coughs> in terms of held over for their AFL side, so no doubt they'll come back in and play some footy and uh, we'll add some really good experience and depth for them. So, look, it's another huge challenge for us. We're embracing it. You know, we're keen to get out there. We think uh, our best can match it with anyone in the competition and what better stage on Saturday to be able to do it against the minor premiers.